Uh, Yessi, uh, just over here to your left, obviously you're giving a wave to the Oilers faithful here tonight. Uh, what's it like for your club to pick up its first win during this homestand? I think this, this is big for, for us. Uh, we need this and keep building our game and get, get those other wins every night. And, yeah. You had two goals in your last 16 games coming into tonight. You scored two tonight. What can a game like this do for a player and his confidence? Uh, I hope so. This get, give me more confidence and, uh, and play better every in, evening. And let's see what happens. Uh, Derek, uh, you chipped in with a goal. Uh, Perlini chipping in with a uh, goal and assist tonight. As a leader in that bottom six, how positive is an effort like this, uh, contributing on the scoreboard, but also getting it done to beat around the ice? Yeah, I think it's a huge confidence builder, not only for the bottom six, but the top six as well. Um, I think that, the, um, I don't know, my line in particular has built a couple games here. Even though we haven't gotten wins in the previous games, I felt like we've started to come across some confidence, playing well, playing the offensive zone, not getting scored on, playing well defensively. So obviously nice to get rewarded on the score sheet tonight. I think that's huge for us, especially getting out of this little slump for us to, to get a win. But um, yeah, I think we're just going to continue to work hard, play the way we have been playing the last couple games. Whether we score or not, we have to find ways to contribute, and I think we've done that. I know a lot of the conversations coming into a game like tonight was the ability or the inability of scoring first. You guys get on the board first tonight. Can you talk about the contrast of playing with the lead instead of chasing the game? Yeah, that's huge for sure. I don't even think we came out and played our best, to be honest. I think Skinzy made a couple of really big saves early to keep us at 0-0. Um, then obviously the power play gets us going. Uh, it's huge. I don't know what the stats are, but I'm sure we've won a lot more games than we've scored first. So uh, I think that's huge for us. It's just huge, especially when you're in a bit of a slump, you're losing games and you let in the first one. It's a bit deflating. I think we can be better in terms of you know sticking with it in those situations. Um, come playoff time or come down the stretch in the regular season, those ebbs and flows of the game just happen. And so we have to be able to roll with the punches a little bit more, but um, obviously nice to score first. Jesse, were you thinking you were going to get that third goal late in the game where Connor passed you the puck? Right by the yeah, yeah, there was a couple of chances, but not yet. <laughs> not yet? No. Were you mad at yourself when it didn't go in or did it just look like it went off the... No, I, I just keep going. I, I think th this was just a good win for us, so I'm happy about that. So, no, no. And Derek, Perlini was in here earlier saying that going down to the minors wasn't the end of the world. You went down and played a lot. What did you see from him tonight that perhaps you saw in the preseason? Well, I didn't hear him say that, but um, hearing you tell me that, it just shows that he's a mature hockey player, professional. He knows uh, the situation that he's in, and um, I thought he came in here and played a great game. I thought Cass and I have been uh, developing some chemistry over the last couple games, playing well. And, um, yeah, I don't know, it's nice to have a shooter there. He can sure shoot the puck, so it's nice to know that he's going to deliver the puck to the net. And uh, I think he did that a lot tonight. And, yeah, he's a good player. And... Um, I know lots of talk about his preseason, those sorts of things, but the regular season is a different beast, so I think that he, uh, he played the game that we need him to play tonight. Thank you. Thanks. Just one for me, Derek. Um, at the start of the game, you guys give up a, a two-on-one, then you take a too-many-men penalty, then there's a three-on-one, and it seemed to me for the last two weeks, the way your luck was going, it would have been like two-nothing for the other team. But you get through it, and it's zero-zero, and you get a break, and before you know it, you're leading. Was that a you know, a moment where you kind of thought maybe your luck's changed a little bit? Um, I didn't think of it that way. I just thought, you know, wow, Skins is holding us in the game here. I don't think it was all luck. I think it was him just playing great. So, yeah, I think we even saw more of that as the game continued to go along. Um, teams that are playing that 1-1-3, I think we've had a little bit of trouble getting through the neutral zone. We're a little stubborn. We don't like to dump the puck in. And when we turn the puck over, there's lots of three-on-twos going the other way, and I don't think that's, that's our advantageous for us moving forward. So, yeah, um, I agree that we haven't had the most puck luck in the last few games, and uh, hopefully that continues. Uh, we can turn that corner and continue to have luck like we did tonight.